Good morning everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, those of you that don't know me, my name's Will. I'm a class one wagon and drag HTV driver. Uh, yeah, we were high up on the back. So, as you've just seen, we're literally just starting our day, just pulling out the yard. We're gonna run five minutes up the road yeah, between five, ten minutes up the road, go and get loaded. And then we've got two trips to Woking. After 300 yards, turn left. Right, let's go and get loaded, shall we? So we've just turned up to get loaded. The place, it actually doesn't open till eight o'clock and it's now only 25 past seven. Uh, we did have a box on the back, which I've just lifted off with the forklift here. I think I've located the boxes we want today. Let me show you. There's two black boxes there. There's also two round the back. And I think they're the ones we want. Um, yeah, there's no point going to load them. I was going to go and put them on myself and go, but they've got to mark them as, you know, gone. We just hang about. There's no mad rush. Well, there kind of is. We've got a two hour run each way. So, oh well. I'll get back to you once we're loaded. Right, so you've rejoined me, literally four mile, three mile? Yeah, about three miles from the job. Uh, just thought I'd quickly have a talk to you about the channel, where it's going, and my driving career. So there is actually gonna be some changes soon to the channel. Um, I'm actually coming off of high ab work, onto, I'm not moving companies, nothing like that. Uh, I will be staying working for this company, but I'm going back on an Arctic flatbed. After 400 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. It's not been an easy decision to make. Road. Of course, I realise it's possibly more than likely going to affect the channel. Um, but at the same time, there's no point being in a job or doing a job that cross you're not 100% happy exit. with. Let me turn that down a bit. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, the high ab work, I absolutely love it. It is, it's a challenge every day. Every lift is different. Um, and yeah, high ab work takes you to some really interesting places um, and do some really interesting things. Thoroughly enjoyed it. I've been doing it now for two years, just over. Yeah, it's been great. There's nothing wrong with the company. There's nothing really wrong with the job. Just. The wagon and drag is the trailer side of it that's starting to get on top of me a little bit. Um, yeah, it's, it's no hardship towing a trailer, none at all. In fact, going forwards, wagon and drag, in my eyes, is a lot easier than an Arctic. Hell of a lot easier. But work-wise, when you can't get into a job with a trailer and you've got to drop the trailer five, six mile down the road, Deliver one, come out, set up again. So obviously, because I've got to have my outriggers out, just a normal lay-by isn't no good. Um, I've got quite a wide spread with the legs out to then take the one off the trailer, put it on the truck, go back in and deliver, and then go back, hook up to your trailer, and hope no one's parked in front of the trailer. Yeah, blocking your way to, to pick it up again. So it's a bit of a... It can be a bit of a ball ache, to put it mildly. Yeah, and it's, it's just started getting on top of me a little bit. Um, I just can't be dealing with it anymore, if I'm totally honest. Call me lazy, whatever. I can take it, it's fine. But yeah, it's just... It's not for me anymore. Now, the deal is, with my company, I'll go on the flatbed but holidays, sicknesses, that sort of thing. I'll still go out in the high ab trucks, so you will still get high ab content, 
just not weekly it'll be maybe once a month will be a bit of high ab work um, the rest of it will be yeah me driving to sites um, every single lift I do every job I do there'll still be a high ab with me one of our high ab trucks will still follow me about and they will tip me um, but of course because I'll be on an arctic it'll be a case of if I can't get in sight or the crane driver can't get in, like, in on site we just take them back the job cancels there's no drag trailer so yeah it basically <laughs> it's obvious isn't it if I can't get in there with an arctic you ain't getting in there the job ain't is to be aborted so for me work will be a lot easier um, you'll still get content from me I'm not going to change the channel name away from high ab life because it is still going to be a high ab life there's still going to be high abs on the job um, now I shall speak to all of the, all of the other drivers see which ones are happy for me to record which ones aren't uh, yeah the ones that are alright for me to record the lifts I shall still do this it will still be the same thing just instead of me operating the crane it'll be someone else so it's a win-win win for me easier work save money and a win for you because you still get the high ab stuff but you'll get to in fact you get extra because you'll now get to see lots of different high ab trucks um, a lot of different size containers I'll do a lot of 40 foot container work so yeah it's not going to happen for a few weeks yet they are ab actually advertising um, for my job position my job role as soon as they find someone new that's when the change will happen so I'll be driving a 64 yeah 64 plate uh, 4 by 2 unit uh, DAF it's a CF still a sleeper cab it's a fairly tidy truck to be fair So yeah, but you still have, there's still a few more vlogs going to come from this, this lorry still. Uh, as I say, it's not going to happen for a few weeks. And I intend to put plenty of vlogs out over the next couple of weeks. So yeah, if you haven't already subscribed, I suggest you go subscribe now, hit the subscribe button. Um, yeah, there's plenty more content coming on the channel. Um, yeah, and it's going to be quite quite interesting to see different high abs doing different type of work not just one lorry every high ab sets up different every high ab lifts different every operator operates different so it'll give you a better or a, a bigger wider variety now apparently this is our road we're about to go into a weight limit Weight limit, 330 yards ahead, seven and a half tonne. Doesn't say except for access. But I think we do want an industrial estate, so I'm guessing, yeah, this is gonna be this road in just past where we wanna be. Nope, don't want that one. Yeah, literally just past the industrial estate is gonna be the weight limit. Hopefully this is the one. Yeah. Yeah, seven and a half ton. We're turning in just before. There's all the containers. So I'm assuming that's where we're going. Right, I shall park it here. Go and find someone, find out where they want the boxes, and I shall get back to you in a minute. If I can find someone, that is.
Right, let's get out of here. That was a nice easy job, that one. You will arrive at your destination at 12.55pm. So it's 68 miles back to the yard. About hour and three quarters, give or take. A bit of traffic. We're going to pick up another two and come back and do the same thing again. I won't worry about time lapses or um, anything like that again. Um, I'll come back to you when we're, we're gonna have to go and get loaded and go get come put out and go straight on break. So yeah, I'll come back to you when I'm on a break and I'll show you around the truck and yeah, the containers and how they're attached and that sort of stuff. So, for me, it'll be a couple of hours. For you, it'll be a couple of seconds. Let's snap to that now. Right, so that's that job all done, which completes the day. Just run back to the yard now. It's just gone 10 to four. I'm just about an hour, hour and 10 minutes from the yard. Yeah, so we should be back five o'clock, which is ideal. I start at seven every morning. Um, I'm officially five o'clock is my finish time. Although truck driving, you never do finish when you're meant to be finished. There's always overtime, sometimes finished early, sometimes finished late, you just never know. That's one downside of being a trucker. Uh, yeah, you can't really plan anything throughout the week. Um, and 
depending on your job role, sometimes you can't plan nothing for a Saturday morning. A lot of trampers, you know, ones that are away, spend nights out in the trucks. Um, yeah, they they'll be down as trampers Monday to Friday, but quite often they will actually have a night out Friday and run in Saturday morning. Them days are long gone for me. <laughs> I haven't done that sort of stuff for uh, three years. Yeah, two and a half, three years, I suppose. Thoroughly enjoyed tramping. Uh, the nights out, nights in the truck, loved it. Parking up, different spot every night. Always a different neighbour. Different view every morning. Open your curtains and you're in a different town or different city. Literally could be anywhere. Yeah, it was nice. But... It was really starting to affect my home life, my marriage. Missed way too much of the children growing up, way too much of things they were doing with schools and, uh, you know, like Christmas plays, that sort of stuff. Yeah, so went on the day driving on this. Will I go back to tramping? Of course I will. As soon as the, like the three children, as soon as they're a bit older, um, yeah, left school. I'll go back to it. It's definitely where my heart lays. Uh, yeah, it's just a totally different way of. When you're tramping, you never feel rushed. You haven't really got a destination to be. You haven't got to get back to the yard. You just, you just drive and wherever you end up, you end up. It doesn't matter. You know, you're not going home till Friday. Whereas on day work, you're constantly looking at the clock thinking, like now, it's four o'clock, I'm an hour and hour from the yard. I'm now thinking, it's gonna be tight getting back for finish time. So then you get a bit of traffic at the tunnels. It's then six o'clock the time you're home, or back to the yard, the time you've done your paperwork. And get home, you're looking at, it's gone seven. No, I'm not moaning, I totally understand. I've taken on day work, so that's kind of to be expected. Just letting you know what it's like, just being real. Um, yeah. I think too many people glorify truck driving, um, certainly vloggers. It's not all, it's not all rosy, definitely not. There's a lot of downsides to it. No matter what you give a company, they always want more. Anyway, we shall discuss that a little bit more in a separate video, I think, later on. But until then, I'm going to crack on with the journey. Thank you very much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Uh, if anyone wants any mentions, shout-outs or whatever, any questions you want answered, drop them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them or give you a mention. It's not a problem at all. Uh, there's plenty of exciting things to come on this channel. As I said earlier, coming off the high abs, going on flatbed. So you'll be seeing a lot of different high ab trucks and different loads and whatever. If that's something you're interested in and you haven't already subscribed, go and hit the subscribe button now. And I shall see you in the next one.